Have you ever wondered why your car has a power outlet that doesn't look anything like the outlets you see in your home? Why is it circular? It oftentimes makes charging a device a challenge if you don't have the proper adapter. Well, it's all rooted in a practice that slowly became something of the past. Smoking tobacco. You get all the flavor that makes smoking fun. Smoke cool. How fine. Air king size and do goes along. It's the filter cigarette with the unfiltered taste. Great tobaccos make it a wonderful smoke. Try them, they satisfy. The first use of what we would recognize today as a cigarette lighter was in 1921 with the filing of patent 1376154 by Joshua M. Morris. This patent featured a power tube and a removable element known as the lighter. When you were ready to light up, you would simply remove the lighter and touch it to the end of your cigarette. Connecticut Automotive Specialty Company, known as Casco, would later patent an automotive-specific lighter in 1928. By this time, cigarette lighters were pretty decently commonplace in more luxurious cars of the time. Casco would later move on to patent the automatic cigarette lighters which we are more familiar with today, where you would push it in, and when the time was ready, it automatically popped back out. When I was a kid, it was the coolest part of my dad's pickup truck, and I soon learned not to touch it once you pulled it out. From the 1960s on, cigarette lighter technology didn't really progress besides the fact that they were found in almost every car, sometimes in multiple locations. Ashtrays outnumbered cup holders and often took priority over most other features. I can always tell when I'm in an older American car just by the sheer number of ashtrays found throughout the interior. So what happened to these simple little lighters? Well, it's no mystery that cigarette smoking has been on the decline for a few decades now. 1964 was the first time that the Surgeon General came out with a report stating that cigarettes might not be good for you. According to this repeated nationwide survey, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. This was met with criticism, of course, and although it hurt cigarette sales, it was equivalent to taking a bucket of water out of the tar-ridden ocean. The 1980s were an interesting time for cigarettes. More and more studies linking smoking to lung and mouth cancer came out, but on the other hand, consumerism was at an all-time high. Marlboro was still sponsoring race cars as well as they had their iconic rewards program. I mean, the swagger was off the charts, I will say. But despite the Marlboro drip, however, in the last four decades, cigarette sales have dropped to nearly one-third of what they used to be. The Philip Morris Company has bought all commercial time on the first half hour of all the network talk shows tonight. That is the last half hour on which it is legal to sell cigarettes on radio or television in the United States. It marks, as we like to say, the end of an era. It's been a long era. With that, automakers started offering lighters less and less. What's interesting to me is that this phase-out was not the same in other countries. Japanese domestic market vehicles still had an abundance of ashtrays and lighters in the 1990s, where American cars had already started to cut back. While it's hard to find actual cigarette lighters and ashtrays in today's cars, their impact has remained. Almost every car on sale today has a circular 12-volt outlet used for radar detectors, charging your phone, or Bluetooth radio transmitters. All of those devices are designed to plug into the outlets that used to be designated for cigarette lighters. And so that's why the outlets in our cars look different than the ones in our homes. It's so interesting to me that a now obsolete fad designated how we charge our devices on today's cars. It's a similar situation with the save icon on most desktops. 
The icon is a floppy disk, a removable form of memory in older computers, which has been obsolete for many years. So much so that today's younger generations don't even know what that icon is depicting. They just know that weird rectangle with the corner folded over means save. Sorry for making you feel old. But with all this being said, it begs the question, if cigarettes were never popular, would we have regular outlets in our cars instead? Would we even have any outlets at all if cigarette lighters were never implemented? Who knows? Modern cars are starting to move away from 12 volt outlets, offering USBs instead. If I were a betting man, I would say that these will soon take over and the circular outlets will be a thing of the past for good. I hope you guys enjoyed my ninth entry into my video essay series. I love putting these together for you guys. If you have a car feature that you want to see in one of these video essays, please leave it in the comment section down below. And next episode, we'll be talking about floor mounted high beams from the 1950s and 60s. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next essay. Take care guys.